What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 108 of the Rise to Glory here with Gibraltar Apex and today I have for you guys another Champions League group stage game. Today is going to be a slightly shorter episode as we will be taking on Dynamo Zagreb. Hoping for a good performance here. Um, just a little bit of news I guess before we get into today's episode. A few league games played since the last episode and uh, also actually a cup game. You can see here we beat Gibraltar Lions 2-0. We followed that with a 7-0 win against Angels and then we beat St. Joseph's 7-0. I didn't talk about the games between the results last episode between the two Manchester City games. Just a quick look at them here. We actually only beat Manchester 62 2-0. That said, uh, they had one shot all game. It was a very dominant display really. Probably should have been more but it wasn't. Uh, but we got the win, and then the other result we played was another 7-0 actually against College Europa. So, well, if we take a look at the league here, you can see things looking pretty rosy for us top of the table. Worth noting Gibraltar Lions and Lincoln Red Imps, uh, and College Europa doing fairly well this year. They, they have kind of emerged as kind of, I guess, the three big teams alongside of us. Another little bit of news is the fact that when I was checking through my general club information tab, I noticed that Gibraltar Lions are now considered a fierce rival, which is pretty cool. Um... So yeah, something to take note of there. The first ever dynamic rivalry I've had in Football Manager that has become a fierce rivalry. And, well, I think that's a testament to the competition ourselves and Gibraltar Lions have created between ourselves over the last few years. Anyway, and a little bit more news just before we get into today's game. Um, I'm actually a little bit salty. And by salty, I mean bitter and angry, nothing else. I've not been eating loads of salt or anything like that. And the reason I'm salty is because a new manager was appointed to take over the Gibraltar national team, a job which I actually applied for. This guy got it. Thomas Gallardo. He's Gibraltarian. He's not great. If we look at his history, he's managed one club in the past. He managed there uh, for 35 games over the course of about a year and a half. He had a 45% win percentage. He achieved nothing in his time there. Uh, he took over Magpies and they got a fifth place finish in the Segunda division. This year, where are they? Let's check. This year, they're second, to be fair. But that said... I should have got the job. It's not even as if... I, 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 I did vent on Twitter about this, but it's not as if I'm not Gibraltarian. If we look at my nationality for my manager that we created, I had Gibraltarian set as an, another nationality that we had, and my person place of birth set as Gibraltar because I wanted to get the Gibraltar job eventually. And, well, this time around, at least, it's just not meant to be, which is a bit of a shame. That said, hopefully it will come up, up uh, again in the future and we can go for it. If we look at their history of managers, you can see... They don't go through their managers very quickly. Uh, Jeff Wood was in charge for a year and, well, basically two years. Then their next two managers, you can see, uh, lasted for six years and five years. So we might be waiting a little while for our next opportunity, but I'm hoping it will come around sooner rather than later. Um, I'm, not, I'm not that bothered about, I guess, getting the job immediately. One thing I have kind of thought about maybe long term, if the job doesn't come available for, say, 10 years and you know we want to move into the national side things one thing i could try doing because obviously i want this manager profile to be the one that takes over gibraltar is if i add a manager as the gibraltar manager then retire immediately there won't be a manager in charge of the gibraltar national team and i can just apply for it with this manager profile that might be an option it'd kind of be cheating but i feel like in telling you the guys i might do this now uh, for the sakes of transparency, um, you know, if the save becomes stale, it might be something we look into doing. I'm not overly fussed just yet because as good as the national team is, it's not super competitive. Uh, but just so you guys are aware that if, you know, we do want to get into that kind of venture and it just doesn't happen, we have got that option there. Anyway, in terms of our team for today's game, we're going to make some changes, I think, here. Worth noting, of course, Tuzon still out suspended. Villalba also out suspended. That means Hall is going to slot in at left back today with Marquez out at right back. And Mustafa and Romero at centre back. Felicia has been a little bit disappointing of late. You can see a 6.88 for him, so I do agree with my assistant decision to drop him. In the midfield, looks like my assistant wants to go with Mora. Again, not, not against that decision. Mora has been a pretty solid player for us so far this year. We'll go with Bouchard, Mendes and Paul Smith. And then up front, we're going to go with, I think, Van Dijk. And then uh, we'll go with Mitchell. We'll go with Mitchell and Van Dijk. Of course, Van Dijk out with a fractured skull. Back now, which is a good thing. His heading did take a little bit of a drop following that injury. But nevertheless, he's back in the side. He did score a league goal or two, I believe, uh, in a recent game. So good to have him back scoring. And hopefully he can give a good performance in Europe today. Either way, looking at our team, I'm kind of happy with this bench. I'm just going to double check everything. I made the mistake of last game uh, that we did in a live comp, just kind of trusting my assistant. And he kind of set me up to fail, 
don't want to have that mistake again. You know, want to make sure we've got players in every position. Uh, this is the team we're going to go with. Let's see what we can do here. Going to give Mora a chance in that defensive midfielder role. Let's see what he can do for us. Zagreb expected to line up with a 4-3-3. We're going to stick with a 4-4-2 attack. Looking at their system, they are going to go with the 4-4 uh, or 4-3-3. It's a pretty good system. They have got some fairly good players, to be fair. And this guy actually looks really good. Borak. Well, we might just try and steal you. You look very good, actually, at 18. Um, let's, get another, let's get another scout report on him. Why not? Because he looks like he could be a pretty decent little striker. Either way, they have got some good players. Borak a player there. If we just have a quick flick through their team. They have got some virtual players. But you can see they've got some pretty talented players. Uh, Golub here looks like a pretty good defensive midfielder. Very good in the air, so perhaps got to be wary of him. But yeah, just flicking through their team here, you can see they're not a terrible team. Of course, we did beat them fairly convincingly when we met them in the earlier match in the group stage. A win today against them would guarantee us a top three finish in the group stage and a spot in the Europa League. I feel like that's got to be the aim here. Let's see what we can do. Uh, not the best team talk right there, confusing our players and getting them stressed. Just going to tell the rest of them that I've got faith in them. They look like they've enjoyed that. Let's see what we can do here. And uh, yeah, it's going to be 0-0. Uh, but I'm hoping for a win, obviously, and of course it's 0-0, because there's been a minute on the clock unless we were going to score very early. But alas, that hasn't happened. That said, well, look at it here. We are, of course, in our away strip today. We need to defend, and while Conta has just got them a very good early goal, not an ideal situation, that. Not an ideal situation. Uh, Zagreb take the lead here. First shot on target for them. We had had one ourselves, but we didn't make anything of it. And, um, well, not necessarily a deserved goal, but they, being the home team, are going to be a good team here. We have struggled this year in the group stage. It's just been one of those years. You know, we've had those years where we have ridden our luck. We have got fairly lucky this year. Um, we've been punished by superior opposition in the likes of Bayern Munich and, of course, the reigning champions, Man City. That said, I'm, we need to win this. We need to give ourselves a good chance here. It's worth noting that even if we were to lose this game 1-0, with uh, Zagreb going into their last game against Manchester City, and uh, ourselves going into our game against Bayern Munich, we'd still be in a situation, oh my gosh, Leung with an insane double save there in goal. Um, but no, we'd still be in a situation if it stayed like this, whereby we would still be kind of in pole position to get that third place spot. Although, they've scored, but it's offside and we've been let off the hook massively we are going to switch to the 442 counter here because 442 attack it's not working for us zagreb all over us early on in this game let's see what we can do on the break um, but no disappointing performance so far by the boys really expect better of us let's see what we can do here we are looking like we're going to be on the back foot again this narrow 433 that they're using seems to be causing us some problems it leads me to be tempted to change my system a little bit to kind of hard counter theirs. But that said, let's see what we can do here. Set piece, ball in, Van Dijk, back post. That is what we've been missing. Even with a fractured skull, he has the ability to win it in the air. And he has done it there. 1-1 one, one now. A good equaliser and a draw here would be a very good result for us, really. In terms of just cementing uh, that third place finish. That is a beautiful little goal there. Van Dijk with the nod at the back post. He celebrates that. And so he should. Back from injury today. Scored a few crucial goals in our qualifying campaign in the Champions League to get to the group stage. Been absent throughout that group stage competition. Back today gets an important goal there. Go tell the players I'm far from pleased with what I just saw. Despite that late goal, it wasn't uh, an overall kind of, what's the word, exhilarating performance. It wasn't something to get excited about. I'm hoping for a much better performance here in the second half. And well, Mendes has just done a really stupid tackle. Please don't be a red card. We really don't need to go down a man here. He looked like a lunge. It's been given as a yellow, but, well, we are going to need to defend a set piece here. Not in a particularly dangerous area, but a good ball in could cause us some trouble. We clear it. Looking to counter here. That said, ball given immediately back to Zagreb, and now they have the ball out wide. Ball in. Conter at the back post. Absolutely open. No one picking him up. Picks up his second goal of the game, and, well, it's some really poor marking there. This cross comes in, and everyone just gets sucked into the play. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure what Jason Hall is doing there, if I'm honest. He's got lost. Was so tight to his man. Started ball watching, started chasing the ball unnecessarily. And uh, left us in a pretty bad situation here. Either way, I'm going to change the system. We're going to switch to the 4-2-3. Uh, yeah, the 4 2 3 one attack. I feel like putting some men in the pocket and being a little more attacking is probably going to benefit us here. 
In terms of the team, uh, I think we are going to stick Mitchell up front. Van Dyke still coming back from injury, still not really 100% fit. Uh, that is going to bring us in the option to play Martinez at centre attacking mid. Although, actually, I think we're going to take off Mendes, move Bouchard to attacking mid, and then it will bring in, bring in Takas and swap him with Mora. So, this is what we're going to go with. Uh, so we are going to now use two of our subs to switch formation here. We're a goal down. We need to make something happen. I feel like going on the attack with this system is perhaps the thing to do. Let's see what we can make happen here. And actually, before this change even takes place, there is going to be a chance and a highlight. And, well, if we go 3-1 down, that's going to be bad. You know, I might regret not making this change immediately after the second goal. Can we defend here? Salazar out wide right. Ball comes in. Comte with the effort. Blocked away by our defender. And while we live to fight another day, Silva crosses it in, near post, headed away, Mora gets it away too. Now can Takez do something with it? Up to Mitchell. And now can we break? Switches it nicely. Martinez can't quite get there. Intercepted, but Martinez back on the ball, offside, however. And for a second, I thought we had a chance on the break. Unfortunately, not to be. But now with our new 4-2-3-1 system, hoping we can try and make something happen here. Looking at it, no real immediate impact with 20 minutes left, might have to even push a few more men forward in search of that goal. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to move Martinez and Smith forward. Uh, we're going to switch Bouchard to an advanced playmaker. We're going to change um, Mora to centre uh, mid on attack. We've, we've got to start committing more men into this attack. Let's see what we can do here. I'm actually going to go with an inside forward on Martinez and just stay with Jason Hall on support. I think this is the team we're going to go with. I'm actually going to swap around uh, the centre mids as well. I feel like having a defensive centre mid on this side where we are going to be bombing a few more men forward is probably going to be in our benefit. Uh, but 20 minutes left. We still have one sub. Set piece here. Paul Smith. Back post. Marquez hits the crossbar. And the change almost worked wonders for us. The ball came in. Marquez with the header. And unfortunately for us, it just ricocheted off the bar and was able to be scrambled away to safety. And uh, disappointing there. 20 minutes left in this game. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. We're looking a little bit better for that change, although time has travelled pretty slowly. Mustafa on a booking at centre-back is concerning. Part of me is tempted to sub him off. At the same time, we have one sub left. I kind of want to make it count. I'm going to take off Paul Smith. He struggled in this game. His condition's fairly low. He's on a booking as well. We're going to bring in Nigel Howell, a player who, of course, we brought in as a backup from Arsenal. England international, so has experience. Can we have a chance in Marquez? Back post. Smith. Martinez is there. Let's go. 2-2. Paul Smith is still on the pitch. He's going to come on off at this point. But at 2-2, we want to keep pushing. Now, Marquez... One of the subs with the ball to the back post cleared away, but only as far as Martinez. And in fact, it's Martinez, the sub. Marquez, of course, our right back. We did change for a more attacking role. And a crucial, crucial involvement in that goal there, though, to get the initial ball in. And Martinez, the Uruguayan with the goal. 12 minutes left. Perhaps a little bit risky to stay on the front foot here, but we do have momentum in this game. Zagreb, they've, they've been ahead... You know, twice in this game, but we're still coming for Mitchell options. Martinez is there again. Let's go. Changed him to an inside forward. It's worked absolute wonders for us. Now we can drop everyone that little bit deeper. But Martinez, what an impact he has had out wide for us. What an impact he has had. I'm going to change both of our players here just to wide midfielders on support. Mora can now change to a deep line playmaker. We don't we don't need to do anything more here. We just want to defend. We just want to hold on to what we've got. And, um, yeah, well, with not a lot of time left in this game, we're just going to try and control the possession while we can, you know, try and dictate the play. We don't want to sit back and contain them. We want to, you know, maintain our possession where we can and really just try to kill the clock here and kill off the remaining moments of this game. If we could win this 3-2, what a result it would be. But ball whipped in, headed away. Could we break away now? Bouchard, options off to his left. It's Howell, the sub. He's fresh-legged. Fortunately, a disappointing pass there. And while Zagreb going to bring the ball forward, but now with Mitchell, is that Bouchard on ahead? It is Bouchard with a real opportunity. He doesn't get that many goals the centre mid. And uh, probably should have done a little bit better there. Romero and Mustafa, both our centre-backs, looking dead on the pitch. Their condition has plummeted. Both on yellow cards as well. But with two minutes left, we're going to see this out. What a result this is going to be. A fantastic win. A really epic game, really, to come back twice from behind. Martinez, what an impact he had out on the right-hand side. We might have to try him as an inside forward more often. A great win there. Uh, in the other game in the group, Bayern Munich and City drew. That means that we can't now finish second in the group. 
we will have to settle for third, which is a Europa League spot. So our last game against Bayern Munich is just arbitrary. Not a lot in that game, so I won't be live coming it. But, but we are knocked out of the Champions League, but we do make it into the Europa League. And as much as that's perhaps a little bit of a disappointment, given the fact last year, and of course, in four, three of the last four years we've got in the top two in our group, we don't deserve it. We've been pretty poor. But at the same time, I feel like we can be very competitive in the Europa League knockout stages. And of course... Uh, well, we've been craving that win in the Europa League knockout stage. We've never won in a European knockout kind of match. I'm hoping today, well, not today, but next episode is going to be the day for that. Either way, you guys will have to stick around for that. As always, if you have enjoyed this video, smash the like. I do appreciate it, guys. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. Epic live come. Great comeback by the players there. Hopefully, we can have more of the same in the Europa League. It is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.